Let's get to the money. Let's get to the money. Money, money, money. Let's get to the money. Let's get to the motherfucking money. Fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. FTB scream the fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. FTB scream the fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck fuck the bookies. We don't think they're gonna ask you. In the morning, grab my little black hood Guess they can eat a dick, cause we lost by the hood Can't win them all, so you never see me get shook Today's a new day, the bookmaker's getting cooked When I spot a dirty keg of four units getting played Always find the value, I would never be afraid Scared money don't win, but I'm not going all in Unless I see a bet I love, then I put my balls on a bookie's chin Let it all soak in Doubling my bread, winning money with my friends If you got the itch and you wanna go big Follow Sharpie bets and you gon' really fucking win This is not financial advice, it's entertainment But if I find the right price, believe I'm parlaying it You can see my spreadsheet, I'm winning, not just saving it Profit in the green every week, I'm never negative I can bet an ace or a shitty old picture yeah, Pick the yeah. right spots cause I'm the K-Prop whisperer Woo. Shut up when I speak until you finally get the picture I'm the best in the world, tell me you get richer Yeah, let's just keep it rolling guys Shout out to y'all for tuning in 4 and 0 yesterday O and O today. So uh let's get to the money. Hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe as well. We got two games going today. We've got two games that mean something as we are looking at the Rangers getting doing a little sweepity sweep sweep to the Baltimore Orioles, as well as a one-one game with the Houston Astros and Minnesota Twins. First game on the board today is a 1 p.m. Pacific. 4 p.m. Eastern type of game where we got the Houston Astros at the Minnesota Twins. Sonny Gray pitching against Christian Javier. And we've got Bill Miller behind the plate. Now, if you were looking to bet Sonny Gray under, if you were looking to bet Javier under, I hear you. I hear you. But we got Bill Miller behind the plate. And if you don't know who Bill Miller is, you're going to learn you some today, guys. And what that tells me is this: they want this game to go under. When I see umps like this behind the plate, they want an under game. Now, I'm not going to let that, you know, fuck with my, my judgment too much on this game as I wasn't looking to run a prop. Anyways, I was looking to back Sonny Gray and maybe fade a little bit of Christian Javier, guys, uh, in, in the same time doing so. Sonny Gray this year. There's only two pitchers left in the playoffs that have a 2.8 ERA or less versus playoff type teams that are teams that are in the playoffs. Sonny Gray is one of them. Sonny Gray has been dominant this year. He's been actually one of their better pitchers right up there with Pablo Lopez. So I like me him today. I want to back me him today. His outs are 14 and a half at a minus 150. I love it. Now that may be too a little juicy for you. So, uh, it's okay. We're going to look for the win. I'm taking the Twins money line minus 130, guys. I love the bullpen. I like Sonny Gray, and I think Christian Javier has a very short hook today, and I think they can get to him. Now, Bill Miller will be the reason why if they don't, but the Twins aren't patient at the end of the day. They're looking to hit the ball, and uh, if you're looking to take pitches like the Astros do, that's where you end up striking out with guys like Bill Miller, guys. He's going to call balls, two balls off the plate, a strike. That's what he does. It's just you don't want to take advantage of it with a strike thrower. You want to take advantage of it with a guy who lives on the edges, a guy who looks for people to swing and chase, a guy like Sonny Gray. And uh, even Christian Javier would actually play into that as he's a fastball slider type of guy. And if he can get that outside call, he's going to play that slider off of it or go a little more outside. So I can't even look to bet their uh, K props under. Javier's outs is low, and it's it's low for a reason. But uh, I, I still expect the guy to go five innings with uh, Bill Miller behind the plate. So if you're looking at that 12 and a half outs, that might actually be a bet too if you're looking at that. And that's not as juicy as the Sunny Gray one at where it's minus 150, but definitely like the Sunny Gray outs a whole lot more. And minus 150 don't scare me. But the bet is Twins money line minus 130. They have the best closer in the game. He has the nastiest pitch in the game, a 97 mile per hour splitter. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the other game. We got our boy, the one that everyone tried to fade last week. 
Nathan Evaldi versus Kramer. And uh, the Rangers and Orioles, where the Orioles got a win or it's go home. Now, we've got the exact opposite in this game of a Bill Miller. We have Alfonso Marquez. <clears throat> this guy has the tightest strike zone in the motherfucking game today. If you look to live on the edges, those edges just might not be there today. And uh, that's where it got me scared of backing Evaldi, guys. Evaldi lives on the edges a lot. We saw it in the Rays game. He threw that two-seamer that ran off the plate that came back on. And uh, he ain't going to get that call today. And he doesn't have the thing I look for, which is whiff, in this Orioles lineup. So I actually lean his under on his K prop today. But they did put it at a four and a half. They didn't overreact to what he did versus the Tampa Bay Rays. And they also have his outs at a 14 and a half, but juice so hard up to a minus 165. Now, I wanted to back Eovaldi today. I wanted to back him hard. This guy in the playoffs, guys, if you just take out the Astros games, he has a 1.63 ERA throughout his whole fucking career, minus the Astros. And that's six fucking games, guys. This guy shows up when the time is said to be shown up. And I, I wanted to go put a bet on him today, guys, but he does live on the edges. I was Then I went to, oh, should I go bet his walks over? And I'm like, I've never bet that shit. So why, why am I going to start betting walks now if I didn't bet it throughout the season? At the end of the day, I, I got to just be safe and rather than sorry and just let this game be. I think Eovaldi is going to go out there and shove. But at the end of the day, this ump, if there's a reason why he doesn't, it's because of this. Uh, Alfonso Marquez is a fucking cuck. He's a cuck to overs on K props. And uh, games tend to go over when the zone shrinks in. And I wanted to back Eovaldi. They juiced his earned run so far bad that I couldn't touch that. And his outs are pretty high up there too. that. What, what am I going to do with minus 165? I'm sorry. I'm not Billy Briss. Sorry, Billy. I can't eat that juice. Now, can I maybe look to parlay it up? I did look at it with Sonny Gray, both going 14 and a half, and that was a plus 168. So I might end up going that way as well. But I also don't like doing parlays because then you need two things to fucking happen and two things that don't correlate with each other. And now you're playing with fucking fire. And Sharpie likes to smoke some fire, but I don't want to play with fire. Nah, nah, I'm a two striker here in the state of California. They'll put my ass away. Ha <laughs> ha! But uh, y'all get the drift, guys. So I'm just going to leave this Texas Rangers game alone. The lean is, I think they sweep them, but they have an umpire back there saying that they want game four. And I'm just going to kick back and, you know, not press to press, not put action in to put action. And the only bet I'm going to roll with is the Twins money line today. Get in where you fit in, guys. And let's stay solid and let's keep winning the mother trucking money. Yeah. With everybody saying, Sharpie.